Well, I can do whatever I want. How about I just did it right now? How about... Oh, I got... I'm getting so much every time. Like, oh, yes. How much... Oh, no. So, did you say something? Is there any other camera? Oh, oh, okay. Because it's because stop filming. Stop filming. Stop filming. Stop filming. Stop filming. Stop filming. Of all the things that are most fun about Chinese New Year, Hongba or red envelopes, probably one of them. So let's open China. Nina, why don't you show us these examples? Oh, this one's very nice. It looks very traditional. Fu, which means blessings. Fu. Fu. Oh, this is Shou. This Xiu. is uh, wishing a, usually a senior on their birthday mm. a long, healthy life. Mm. Ah. This one. Upside down. There we go. Gong Xi Fa Cai. A traditional blessing, which is what you would always say, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, I think this one for marriage. This one is for marriage, yeah. This is hearts. It's double happiness. One of the more traditional ones is Ya Sui Ba. Ya Sui Tian is a way of keeping the beasts at way or the bad spirits with a little monetary gift according to Chinese tradition. Oh, this one's a really nice oh, example. Oh, it's very nice. Like, this is a more contemporary one. You see the little fish on the back as well. Yeah. The fish is a Chinese symbol for luck mm. and blessings. Now, what's really interesting is these days, things have gone one step beyond the red envelope, the hongbao, and you now have all different colors. But they're still called a hongbao. So there's many, many different ways to get the envelopes. Now, these days, giving the actual hongbao in person, as you probably know, is not so much done, apart from on special occasions. It's actually popping up everywhere. For example, when you take a DD, you take a, uh, you call a car on right. WeChat, right? Or you right. make a payment. Yeah, yeah um, anything. Online shopping, even there, you can get some homebots. Yeah, you get a little rebate back, a little bit of cash. It's like a discount. Yeah. Yep. Also, when friends do you sign big favors, instead of just giving them money, you send a little homebow. And there's actually a little digital function in WeChat. And, and that's what we use, especially at Chinese New Year, in group chats to send the money. And that's one of the most exciting things because all the money is given randomly. So you don't know what you're going to get, but you have to be quick because there's only a certain amount. Awesome. Yeah, it's like a lottery. But there's something more important than that. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the uh, quantities of money that you would put in an envelope, Hassan? For the, you need to uh, be careful like the form number four. Number four? Yeah, number, number four, like in Chinese, Big like number. unlucky number. Yeah, it's the Chinese for yeah. death. For Chinese people, they like a number eight. Of course, we all know yeah. that. Eight. Number eight. Sorry. And it's still a very good number because yeah. it's an even number. And even numbers are a great quantity of money to right. give to, right? You don't want to give an odd number. Right, right. Yeah. Actually, what you need to know is that whom you send in the home bow. You should uh, concern about this one. For example, if we're sending our home bows to the kids or teenagers, it could be something like 100 to 200 yuan. But if it's different occasion and different age or you have different relationship with the person, you should consider this um, and think of how much money you could send. For this one, I suggest to talk to your friends, talk to yeah. your, especially to Chinese friends. Mm -hmm. They will tell you for sure. Yeah. That's the safest way too. Right. Because it's not like you should be really scared. You're not going to get it wrong. Not, someone's not going to be like, oh my God, you sent me too much money. We can't be friends anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely never going to no. happen. And even if you get the amount wrong, Chinese people are not the kind of people to turn and say, oh God, they sent me too little money. I'm not being friends with them. They will consider it a cultural misunderstanding. But best to get it right. So ask your friends because it depends yeah. on the region and the type of occasion. Yeah, they're going to be impressed. So now you know all about the exciting world of red envelopes in Chinese New Year, or as we say, Hongba. So if you've got any questions, you can add us on Facebook or on Instagram or Twitter and leave comments down in the comments section or hit like and subscribe. My name's David. My name is Nina. My name is Hassan. Keep it open. Until next time, thanks for watching Open China.